Hello beautiful people, so welcome to your practical application of astrology, being done from the nature again, uh, making the most out of the beautiful sunshine that we were blessed with in the UK for the past three days, definitely a change from the last week video where it was pouring down with rain, but this is the UK after all, as you can tell, we're all talking about the weather here, <laughs> because it's got a major impact on how we feel, right? So anyway, I have just released my astrological forecast for next week. Uh, this video will be uh, released tomorrow, which is Monday. I'm recording this still on Sunday. Uh, but as I mentioned, due to my current living circumstances, I'm doing what I can when I can. And I thought it's still good to pop in and just to share something that to share nothing at all. And there definitely are a lot of energies that we are digesting and integrating, even though we are now out of cancer season, because of course, Sun is now in the sign of his rulership, in the sign of Leo, and we are now prepping for the upcoming Leo New Moon, which will be a rebirth of our sense of purpose and authentic expression, and yeah, all the rest of it, all the traditional descriptions of Leo, which are related to joy, fun, uh, inner child, um, and our childlike innocence, and all the rest of it. So anyway, guys, I don't know how things have been showing up for you. Uh, me and my uh, environment, including the people that I'm in communication with, have been going through a lot of things. And it's interesting how we are continuously mirroring one another, like whether it's me and my clients or me and my friends in my proximity or me and my friends that I'm connected with, even though they are on the other side of the world, we are all connecting. We are all uh, going through similar things, which is all this release of these past versions of ourselves, this past way of doing things and experiencing reality, this past ego identities, this is all and was all underlined with this uh, sun uh, making a trine to, ta uh, to to Neptune right before sun moved into the sign of Leo uh, and of course now with this um, new moon in Leo it's going to be trine by the north node, sextile by Mars and Jupiter conjunction and of course Mars is the rule of the north node uh, both Mars and Jupiter are in the sign of Gemini which is all about this choice and multiplicity and multidimensionality and perceiving reality in a different way because of course Mercury is in the sign of Virgo and that is all about discernment and Mercury is now preparing for his retrograde so it will help us to discern internally so how this has been showing up in my life so obviously I'm not gonna bore you with all this like oh my god my life is so hard and I'm going through so many things because so is everybody else and I know that for a fact because we are all in the on the same boat we are all on the same planet and we are all experiencing the same things even though the details of that might be different but we are undergoing some major transformation and preparing for a completely different uh, way of living life technically but in order for us to make a space for it these old ways have to go and this is something that I've definitely been experiencing just uh, by the matter of fact that my current environment is operating on its own tune and it's not necessarily the tune that I'm usually operating on with regards to how I do things when I do things and stuff like that and I have to be flexible I have to um, not comply but uh, have to be less rigid which for this Taurus is not so easy always uh, and just have to find a different ways and I, I was actually just leaving a message for my sources and I had this realization that you know what you know we, we become so used to doing things certain way and even though we might not even enjoy them anymore or it might be even boring for us but we just don't change because we are creatures of habit and this is not just for Taurus people like generally human race is a creature of habit we like having a routine and doing things certain way and everybody has some sort of routine or some certain uh, you know some things that they like doing and uh, you know continue to do uh, on a repeat even though that might not be serving us anymore and now with these energies that we are playing with currently especially Mars being in a sign of Gemini which is all about this flexibility and mutability and Mercury being in Virgo, which is, you know, the sign of his second rulership. Uh, and Virgo is very practical. So it's like, okay, now we are putting into practice what we've learned during all this period of time, especially since the North Node was in the sign of uh, Aries, which is now a year, right? It entered Aries last year in July and slowly, slowly we'll be preparing for the transit into Pisces and Virgo, which is all about learning and adjusting and letting go, letting go of these old ways, closing these old cycles, releasing these old patterns. But 
is not so easy it all sounds good in a theory like oh yeah this is not working for me I want to change but these patterns these subconscious patterns are so deeply embedded in us uh, that we don't even realize we're doing these things until there is this someone to point it out to us which is something that's been happening for me and I could also re <laughs> in reverse see it happening for that person that pointed out to me you know which is interesting because as we know in a you know this is how it operates that we are born reborn you know with the similar people you know our soul tribe and stuff our soul family and um uh, we play, we, we, re we reverse the roles, you know, as I mentioned previously, and I'm sure this is familiar for, uh, you know, topic to many people that, oh, one lifetime you are the husband, next lifetime you are the wife, and then you try to resolve the conflict from the other point of view, so the other person has the opposite experience and goes like, oh yeah, now I understand how that felt, you know, when I played that role previously, even though this is all happening on a soul level or subconsciously or something. So anyway, so it's interesting, I had this realization that because there was something that was uh, playing out in my life and my friend that I'm currently cohabiting with uh, she's very spiritual and even though she's quite young she's very um uh, very attuned to things and energies and stuff and she pointed out to me and say like hey listen you know this pattern and blah 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 and you know this is perhaps something that you could uh, work on changing right because it's not really serving you <laughs> and then there was a situation that was going on for her where the same pattern popped up for her but she didn't realize it so it was perfect because uh, you know like we don't have to die and we be reborn to, to experience the same thing from the opposite side you know like uh, where the shoe is on the other foot and this is kind of what I also shared, uh, you know, last week with regards to this other situation that happened with the other person that helped me understand how somebody else might have felt last month when they stood me up and I felt grudges and then, you know, I, I did that to someone else and then I meant, you know, I had to experience that, uh, okay, well, you know, I don't really know what's going on through these people's life uh, the same way as these people don't know what's going on in my life and none, none of us really knows what's going on in somebody else's reality. So it's interesting how this is all happening at such a rapid speed where we have the opportunities to actually have this mirror <laughs> and have the experience from each side so we can actually have the totality you know the whole 360 and understand what's going on here and go like oh, okay you know perhaps before because it wasn't me in that situation and I was not having that experience it was all just a theory just like where we are a spirit you know it's all just a theory for us you know it's like oh yeah you know I have this great idea about my soul path on planet earth and all the rest of it but then when we come here where the spirit is poured into the body you know the consciousness and then we are having this experience through the ego mind right and it's not so easy you know it's not all so easy and like oh yeah it sounds like a great idea when I was in a spirit form and I was creating my you know my plan my soul plan and then suddenly you hear you land on planet earth and it's like mm, you know I didn't take this into consideration that there will be all this ego you know like emotions and all these uh, grudges and all these like wanting to be right and you know feeling hurt and all that will be there you know like and that is not there when we are in a spirit form because the you know the, these higher dimensions they are not polarized there is no doesn't operate the same way there as it does here so it's fascinating to me how now because of how everything is so rapidly uh, changing and how uh, these timelines are shifting so quickly uh, how everything is becoming available to us to experience and learn from at such a rapid uh, rapid um, pace so we actually don't have to keep dragging the same patterns on forever and ever from and keep rec recreating them from the subconscious mind because actually we are becoming conscious of them and then we can make the choice to change it because once the uh, subconscious pattern becomes conscious it's no longer hiding in a shadow and then we are like oh, okay you know I didn't even realize I was doing that or maybe you had not realized you were doing that and now we just mirrored it to one another you could see me doing that I could see you doing that and now it's like oh, okay you know no, now I understand now I can change it I can be more um, more conscious of it so it doesn't mean that we're going to change it tomorrow you know because these patterns many of them they are not even yours you know like they are inherited from all these previous versions of ourselves and ancestor line and the collective imprint so we are actually playing you know with a lot of things over here that are not just from this lifetime as we know with the Saturn being in a sign of Pisces Neptune being in a sign of Pisces and both being retrograde uh, there are things being regurgitated literally 
that come from long time ago so it's like as i was uh, you know saying last week it's important for us to have uh, compassion for ourselves and grace and patience uh, and forgiveness you know for these aspects of ourselves that didn't know they didn't know you know just like it's easy to point the finger and go judging because of course if we judge ourselves that is much easier to judge in other and again i don't want to recreate the video from the last we can talk about the same thing but i definitely have been observing more more of that and it really feels so interesting because actually i was just speaking to my sources about this that even though we are in a leo season now and of course a lot of planets are you know in uh, these masculine signs you know mars and jupiter are in uh, gemini which is you know masculine sign and venus is still you know still at the time of me recording this she's in the sign of leo even though she is going to move uh into the sign of virgo right, right after the new moon in leo but for the time being she's still in leo as the ruler of the south node which is of course in libra north node in, you know in aries so we have all this masculine energy at play sun is in leo you know in the sign of his rulership you know sun loves being in leo uh, so we have all this like action oriented energy all this young energy and we feel like oh my god shouldn't i be doing something shouldn't i be changing something right but actually you know my realization that also came to me while i was making my video about the astrological forecast for next week is that yes but this is all mental you know because our whole reality is created from what we think you know our th thoughts our beliefs you know and stuff um, that uh, these things are connected to you know like we we, we become what what we believe you know um whatever we believe uh, that's what we see manifested and this manifestation that influences our reality and you know just everything is connected to everything so what really needs to change and especially because of all this you know seeding seeding of this energy which was mars was in a sign of virgo when it, he became the ruler of the north node and mars was in a sign of pisces the opposition when was the uh, new moon solar eclipse <laughs> sorry i have these mosquitoes trying to eat me alive over here as you can see mars was in a sign of pisces at the time when it was the solar eclipse and everything was in the sign of aries and mars was the ruler and he was in the sign of pisces which is all about this co-creation with the spirit and that's technically what is going on here so with regards to this uh, energy that we feel like shouldn't I be taking an action on it's actually all about change of the mindset so understand it that yeah reality is created from our thoughts and the only way we can change that creation process is from inside out so that's why we keep re-experiencing and recreating this pattern and re-experiencing this dynamic and also having this very quick feedback at the at the moment you know everything is happening so quickly we can see this manifestation of these thoughts that we thought and also these beliefs that we believe we can see it manifested like at the rapid pace and this is all enabling us to change the pattern because mars is in gemini which is saying like well there are other options available why do we keep choosing the same one you know because mars is the rule of the north node it's saying like oh let's do something we haven't done before and it's all connected to this going deeper going beyond stepping deeper you know and like yes this connection to our heart and this connection to like what actually gives us the sense of joy and happiness because i can share a personal example how i a few days ago i was working so much and you know it was the first of the nice sunny days it was actually on friday and i was like i really need to go out i really need to do something for myself and uh, i went to the seafront and i was meditating and i was you know then listening to some music from Lee harry's actually walking home and stuff and i literally could see with my third eye i can literally see my inner child you know doing like cartwheels and being like super happy you know about the fact that oh my god we out we're having some fun you know we're doing something that is you know for me like you know like fun things you know like i'm not saying this is something that everybody considers to be fun but this is something that i enjoy you know and i could literally feel this oh my god <laughs> like literally so many mosquitoes here uh i could literally feel you know this change of frequency like like when we really give to ourselves that something that we really need and makes us happy what a change does it you know what the, what the difference what the difference it makes and it doesn't take much i literally went out for like a couple of hours you know have a walk sit in the grass meditate you know just look at the ocean okay this is not always available for everyone i'm very grateful that it is available for me right here right now not the same when it's raining you know but when it's sunny it's true blessing absolutely 
and then you know being just able just to walk and you know like I was listening to some stuff you know some meditations and stuff walking to the town but then walking back I just decided okay I'm just gonna listen to music now you know I don't need to absorb any more information I absorbed enough and just that fact you know that giving yourself that grace giving yourself that acknowledgement that actually I am going to give to myself something that makes me happy and what a difference does it make and uh, how like literally it was so funny I could literally see it, my inner child just like going all you know like happy and dancing and doing cartwheel and like being so happy like hey finally finally we're not working finally we're away from that computer you know so I feel this is so important and it's becoming so <laughs> in my face because I'm surrounded by a lot of kids you know my friend she has two children uh, a little baby and, uh, and a seven-year-old going on 14 who <laughs> definitely Pluto Capricorns as, I, as you know I keep saying everybody who has Pluto Capricorns around them is very aware of this uh, dynamic with Pluto Capricorns being the boss babies and being very good with boundaries and also knowing themselves really well you know like I like this I don't like this and being very very good at you know like uh, communicating that you know these Pluto Capricorns so anyway so what I'm trying to say with all this, you know, bubbling about nothing, it's about how all this is actually changing for us. How is it changing our experience and our way of uh, existing in this world? And also with all these distractions that are happening outside of us, which, you know, I was mentioning some of those last week. But, you know, this is, this is <laughs> my friend, she heard it somewhere from someone she follows. And there is that word, you know, you can unsubscribe, you know, like there are all these things happening. Absolutely. There are so many things happening all the time everywhere you know even if we could like really tap into all these different timeline which we can but if we did it like you know like with intention there are all these things happening still you know the things that are you know we perceive as that they were happening thousands of years ago whatever they're still happening just because we are not tapping into the timeline doesn't mean they're not happening you know this is where time is not linear so actually you can unsubscribe, you know, just the same way we are tune, not tuned into these uh, frequencies and into these different realities, we can also choose to unsubscribe from these uh, lower vibrational energies that we don't have to give our energy to and rather focus on something that you enjoy, you know, and this is where I feel like, especially this uh, throughout this Leo season and, you know, with the upcoming new moon in Leo, we really are being, well, you know, again, I don't know how is it playing up for everyone else, but we are really being pushed to reconnect with the inner child with reconnecting with that innocence and actually giving ourselves that something that makes us happy that allows us to actually enjoy this beautiful world that we have around us and just to disconnect you know disconnect to reconnect this is something amanda ellis said and it really resonated with me as well because we have the opportunity to disconnect from all this noise, you know, that is uh, taking our energy and distracting us and actually just reconnect with ourselves. And that will then allow us to connect with the external reality in a very different way. Just like, you know, when I took that break and gave myself the time to actually just go and enjoy and just don't do anything other than just, you know, enjoy the environment around me and the music. And then I could come home and feel very differently, could feel the shift of energy and, you know as the world around us we cannot really you know there are things that we cannot control but there are things that we can control for example like this you know like you can always uh, manipulate your energy based on what you focus on just like you know we all have this um tools available to us that we know that are going to shift us into a different frequency whether it's you know for for you to go for a walk with the dog or whatever it is so anyway so i don't want to make this video super long and get eaten alive by all these mosquitoes but also um i don't know whether this is actually being helpful but i just wanted to share that whereas this world and again this is something that's become very very uh, prominent for me in my you know recent two weeks especially but even before that when i was in slovakia and this is how it goes as I keep saying and sharing, I keep pendulum from being in a hermit mode and completely disconnected from world and reality and just focusing on my spiritual work and then being put back into the matrix and then struggling and trying to balance the two. Like, okay, how can I, you know, be connected to the world but not feeling overwhelmed, but at the same time, you know, like uh, have my needs met. So it doesn't have to be this one extreme or another. 
and now you know being uh, in in the environment that I'm currently and things are not you know as I said they are not uh, to my uh, usual routine like okay quiet when I need to record or when I want to record and there are kids around all the time it's a residential area so there are a lot of kids right outside of the window playing and stuff and there is that world will never be perfect sometimes there will be these you know situations like now I'm in a beautiful forest you know but there are a lot of mosquitoes trying to eat me alive you know so it's never gonna be perfect you know it's just like with all this noise outside of us you know all this like I said politics or social media or this is there is this disaster that disaster there always will be something you know so it's like okay but we can choose to unsubscribe for it or tune out you know tune out so we can tune in and focus our attention our mind onto something else and I feel that this is really the key you know especially with Mars being in a sign of uh, Gemini and you know as of now you know we have this Mercury in retrograde you know as of Friday Mercury is in retrograde is this opportunity Mercury uh, no Mercury <laughs> I'm sorry, not Mercury is retrograde. Mercury is going to be retrograde from Monday week on, on the 50th stations, retrograde. Chiron. Chiron is retrograde. And Chiron is the key. And Chiron is ruled by Mars. And Mars is in Gemini. The key is in how we choose to um, use our thoughts, you know. And this is what the strength is about. I really feel that this is the main message. Yes, it's about strength. And it's about building resiliency. And it's about becoming a Capricorn, you know, and taking responsibility. And, you know, all, all the rest of it, all the things things that are associated with the frequency of Saturn and Jupiter but it's also about us being able to control our ego mind you know just like the strength card I think that is such a perfect depiction because we have that light being standing over the beast you know over the Leo and the Leo is the physical incarnation you know is the body that we need to be able to control our mind and I am still struggling you know I still have knee, knee jerk reactions to situation but I can give myself the grace and uh, the acknowledgement that I'm recognizing it much faster and I can get out of it much quicker so yes you know maybe I'm still repeating the same mistakes maybe I'm still re reacting in, a, in the same way but you know sometimes I catch myself sometimes I don't but I can uh, I can recognize it much faster and then change the energy much quicker so this is a progress you know like it's a step-by-step -step process because we are as, a, as I said we are transmuting not just this life Lifetime. You know, there are a lot. Of, there is a lot of stuff that's been passed on to us from our ancestors. Some challenging, and some obviously a lot of gifts, a lot of blessings. You know, a lot of experiences that been everything's been passed on. You know, the good and the not so good. You know, the things that we need to work on, but also the gifts. You know, everything that our ancestors had you know had learned themselves it's all it all lives within us. It's just like the card that I pulled for the you know from the um, activation gateway from Carl Gray which was about this uh, earth star chakra you know the wisdom is within the earth you know like we can just tune in and just uh, you know absorb that knowledge is available to us because those who walk the earth before us including ourselves the other versions of ourselves and our ancestors which again if we go into the multi-dimensionality and non-linearity this this is still happening it's still happening it's just not happening right here right now but it's still happening in different dimension different times timeline but it's all available to us at all time because this had already been it's already been done you know and also the future versions of ourselves the version of ourselves that you know that we can't even imagine like okay in 100 years time or 1000 years time who will I be they already exist they already exist just because they are not here right here right now it doesn't you know like they are here but we are just not not experiencing in this physical form it you know like all that wisdom is also available to us so it's just a matter of grounding it and for that I really feel you know the key again the key the Chiron the key it's to start you know to learn to control the mind the monkey mind the the ego because the ego needs to protect itself you know it tries to protect us but it, it wants to survive so we will just keep repeating the same pattern we will keep recreating the same wheel we will keep re-experiencing the same reality over and over again and this is nothing new under the sun everything that's happening already happened before it looked a little bit different the details were different but there is nothing new under the sun and we can even see it in our 
our own personal lives how things are coming around the same patterns maybe the people are different but we struggling with the same things because these are the patterns that are being recreated by the ego and because it's the subconscious mind that keeps recreating it because they need healing and now we are at the times with the saturn in pisces and retrograde and neptune in pisces and pluto just about to move into capricorn and dance around the 29 degrees again just like was the conjunction between pluto and sun the final one in capricorn this full moon in capricorn number two 29 degrees and we will have pluto only on 29 degrees retrograde this is all coming up so this is why we might even think like oh my god i think i did dealt with this already i changed the pattern i learned my lesson so why is this happening again you know why do i keep recreating the same dynamic why am i having the same reaction and then the worst thing we can do is beat ourselves up about it the self the self judgment and the self hate and the resentment and stuff whereas yes you know i'm not saying you know i'm not saying that these are not emotions that you know like i play with from time to time but it's like how quickly we can recognize it and come out of it and then give yourself the grace and the compassion and also the acknowledgement that you are doing progress you know you are alive every day you getting out of the bed you're trying again you're being brave and courageous to try again and you know this is something that deserves our you know our acknowledgement that we are here and we trying and it's not going to change overnight because we are transmuting thousands of years of conditioning okay thousands of years of conditioning and it's not easy because there is no blueprint there is no uh, manual to say okay do this and this is how it's going to happen for you because it's the Aquarian age, we are stepping into our authenticity, we are learning to individuate and recognize who we really are. We are a unique expression of the soul and just be source. And just because it works for someone else that to do it this way, it doesn't mean it's going to work for you. You have to find your own way because we are all invited to become our own Capricorn. You are the creator of your reality. So with this planet's retrograde, we already have Saturn, we already have, uh, well, we already have Pluto, Saturn, Neptune, now Chiron, Mercury is just about to station retrograde on august 5th so the retrograde is upcoming you know then we're going to have also um at some point jupiter of course uranus i know for sure is stationing on september 1st uh, I don't remember exactly when Jupiter is stationing, but then we're also going to have Mars at the end of the year in, in December. And Mars will be making an opposition to Pluto for like four or five months, you know. So this is it. This is literally it. So this is why all these things are coming around and around and around again to help us to change the pattern. And it all starts from the mind. It all starts from the thought right it all starts from our thoughts because it is the thought that creates the reality you know everything that you see manifested in the reality just like i mentioned in my astrological forecast at some point it was somebody's thought it was somebody's thought and a belief and a vision for the future and then it became manifest so this is where we at and this is how we are preparing for the next stage but at the moment i feel for any many of us it probably does feel like a cocoon it does feel like we are somewhere in a waiting room or in between the two worlds where we can already feel these new frequencies you know we can already feel this Pluto in Aquarius but at the same time we feel like breaks are on and like why am I not moving everywhere anywhere and it's still like oh yeah I can see certain progress in my life but then there is still this stuff you know that is coming around and around and around you know just like I said you know like the same situation with regards to this noise and kids and you know these disruptions and distractions and stuff and i'm like well but the world will never be perfect you know literally and if i do live in some kind of isolation at the top of the hill all by myself then i will miss humans <laughs> you know like okay i am not the most social person but i still like the connection you know so this is the thing and you know like with the age of aquarius yes you know it is about the networking it is about the communities it is about you know this um us coming together but through understanding who we are and healing these aspects of ourselves that are not who we are that as that are a continuation of old patterns that we inherited and adopted and been passed on to and now with all this stuff that we've had going on recently especially with the two full moons capricorn two full moons in capricorn and the cancer new moon in between and now with this upcoming new moon in leo these are all very very powerful impactful energy and yes it's always powerful and impactful but 
now it's more so because all these planets you know like mercury mars and venus already started the new cycle of conjunction between themselves and pluto in the sign of aquarius so there is a very different energy at play plus you know as i mentioned and keep coming back to this solar eclipse in aries that took place in april in a new phase conjunction with north node but mars was in pisces this is the thing you know so we might like i said we might put too much pressure on ourselves and have too high expectations because of the past ways things were and showed up you know like oh we are in a leo season you know why am i not doing things why am i not creating this and this and this but actually the pattern has changed you know it's like we need to change the way we think and that's you know going to change the way we manifest our reality and it's an inside out process it cannot be done any other way and this is why all of us keep re-experiencing these patterns that are taking us inward you know like we need to start questioning why do i keep attracting these situations or people and recreating this pattern in my life why do i keep re-experiencing it and we need to introspect on that is the retrograde energy introspect on that and you have to find your own answers because nobody else have the answers and nobody else left the bread comes for you only your higher self you know and your and your guides and you know and um universe and stuff so anyway so this is what uh again i don't know how helpful this message is but this is what i felt you know i wanted to share because i could go all into you know a victimhood mentality and tell you what everything has been going wrong in my life but actually i can also see that how many things i've been able to learn and realize in such a short amount of time just like you know when i'm in mexico it's fantastic you know like uh, i'm completely disconnected from reality and just in my cave you know or in my um, uh, you know what I call it cocoon and uh, you know and I can just completely focus on my meditation meditate for two three hours every day and just do my spiritual work and you know just be connected to the nature and everything and you know completely out of whack with what's going on in a reality uh, you know even though like yeah you know contradicting myself again you don't need to subscribe to what's going on in reality because you're creating your own reality but you know what I mean just being completely disconnected from humans you know like not having any connections over there and then coming into this opposite extreme you know of like being around people non-stop you know like my friends my family you know the friends kids you know like constant constant you know like constant stuff so of course there has to be a balance and we all have to recognize and find out what that means for us individually you know what does it mean for you you know like what kind of um, reality do you want to keep you know like um, experience for yourself that would actually be the optimal one for you you know to come to the point of neutrality which is why for me personally in my life I'm experiencing these extremes because they are helping me to understand like okay it's not that and it's not that and this is literally what is this Libra and Aries about out. you know Aries is a self-discovery and Libra is trying to balance it like okay you know like which one is it let's come closer to the middle point you know the the neutral point that the what, you, what they call it the zero point you know from which everything is created zero point is the point of uh, creation right because this is like the void you know just like the card that came up for the new moon um, you know it was the growth and the void and right after that was again this you know like uh, with the rabbit the darkness you know that we don't know where we're going <laughs> so anyway so this is how we get in there it's a step-by-step -step process it's not gonna happen uh, tomorrow it might be very frustrating for many of us especially it's like oh my god why am i still here you know in the same place and you know we're re experiencing the same patterns i thought i got over it already i healed this pattern but you know we're healing again we're healing thousands of years of conditioning it's not gonna change overnight it's gonna take time because we are not just changing a pattern for tomorrow we are creating a brand new reality that's going to be from now on you know so this is why these things are not going to happen quickly because we are still operating in a three-dimensional density you know of uh, earth you know which is like yes things are speeding up but still you know <laughs> we have to play with what we have available over here so anyway guys so this is where i'm gonna leave it you know half an hour i think that's enough because my astrological forecast unfortunately because i was on zoom i didn't see how long it was and it was almost hour and a half so i do apologize you know i was in the flow of things so i didn't you know realize that so much time has gone because yet you know this is what happens when <laughs> you are in the flow and you forget about the time and space but i do have to respect people's time because i know there is a lot happening you know in everybody's life and people don't have time to listen to me all day um, and like I said I don't even know whether this makes much sense but I thought I'd come on and share you know that yes we are all in this you know we are all experiencing some kind of uh, you know manifestation of these energies 
And yeah, you know, there are four uh, free squares between Uranus and Mercury. You know, Venus is square in Uranus. Mercury already square Uranus once. It's going to happen two more times. You know, Venus and Mercury both trying in Chiron. So yeah, so things are coming up. Things are coming up and out for us to look at and change the pattern. Because it's this, you know, Uranus changing the pattern with regards to Taurus. What are we attached to and comfortable with? And then it's this Mercury, you know, and Venus in Leo, which is saying like, well, but is it still in resonance with your heart? Is it actually authentic to you? And who can say that they are living their life uh, authentically all the time? You know, not many people. So anyway, you know, with the Leo in opposition in Aquarius, this is going to be the new uh, mode of operandum. And just look at these little Capricorns. <laughs> <laughs> they are uh, authentic to the fault, you know, they will tell you to your face, they don't care, you know, who they're gonna hurt, whose feelings they're gonna hurt, they are gonna tell you, you know, and yeah, you know, this is the new way, this is the new human, like, okay, they're a little bit rough around the edges, but yeah, they're not gonna pretend and they're not gonna lie, and if you lie to Pluto Capricorn, they're gonna know, <laughs> so anyway, guys, you know, the world is changing and we're changing with it and we have no choice, you know, because this is the way it is with uh, regards to evolution, and, and yeah, we can choose, you know, how it's going to play out for every single one of them, whether we go kicking and screaming or whether we just flow with it. And, you know, I can go kicking and screaming and feel a victim and, you know, go like, oh, how is thing, when are, how things are going on wrong in my life and, you know, how everything is not how I want it to be. Or I can just go and observe with my higher self, you know, a neutral point of view and go like, mm, okay, this is interesting. Let me observe this situation. What can I learn from it? And what is this trying to teach me about myself or show me about myself? Myself, you know so anyway guys I'm really going now <laughs> um, at least it's nice weather today you know I have to tell you seriously we starting and ending with the weather because this is England after all and weather has a power over many things here even though yes it is still the externalization south node in Libra <laughs> but you know nobody said that I was perfect and definitely they're not gonna say that so much love everyone I wish you a wonderful week ahead enjoy astrology is fairly quiet this week even though there is the new moon in Leo, but you know, the moon is losing the light and the astrology is fairly quiet. There is not that much happening as a build up to new moon in Leo. However, full moon in Aquarius, very different story. So stay tuned. Much love everyone and I'll speak to you again soon. Bye for now.